السلام عليكم الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله الله السلام صلاة تدوم وتغدى إلي ما مر الليالي وطول الدوام اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد عليه السلام صلاة تدوم وتغدى إليه ما مر الليالي وطول الدوام اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد عليه السلام صلاة تدوم وتغدى إليه ما ما شاء الله الحمد لله that Allah Almighty He give us the love of رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Allah Almighty He grant us this love of رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم and this love is the most precious things in our hand in our heart in our mind, in our body. If you understand the value of the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you will be the one that the most lucky one in this universe. We can say it in this universe because Everything, it doesn't have value. Whatever you own, whatever you got in your hand, it doesn't have value. The true value is the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So many people, they say, how you can know the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? It is so simple by following the order of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by praying, by being good one, by being, behaving as good one, this will show the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They say, who is your ideal? Your ideal is, must be somebody great. That, you can make your way in your life. So many people, 
they have politic ideal, some people they have art ideal, some people they have powerful ideal, some people they have rich ideal, some people they have smart people ideal. It is going like this. And everybody is going in the way that he have this kind of ideal to follow. When you look for small child, his ideal, first of all, is his father. You look for his father and say, my father is the greatest man. Because he see him as the greatest man. He cannot see somebody else more great than his father. Small child. He is in love with his father. He is going with his father to be, this is my ideal, this is my the one I look, this is the one I have to be like him. But when he grow more, he sees somebody else. When he grow more, he sees somebody else. When he grow more, he sees somebody else. At the end, to get the real ideal is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is how Allah Almighty, he put it slowly, slowly, to make you know who is your leader or who is your the one he will be getting you out of this world. This is important things to know in our days. Now it is fitna days. This is the third day of Safar. Rasulullah he was saying Safar al Khair. Why? He is wishing to get the goodness of Safar. This is, that's why he called it Safar al-Khair. Safar al-Khair, we know Allah Almighty, he put 12 months, but one of this months, it should be shadid. It should be so much hard to make you understand if Allah Almighty, if he come angry, what he will do. This is, that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when the month of Safar was approaching, he was immediately asking the Sahaba, oh my Sahaba, you have to say, Astaghfirullah al-Azim wa atubu to be more with istighfar, more in tawbah, because to get the mercy of Allah Almighty and to get the goodness of Safar al-Khair. Now we see what's going on around us, around the world. Subhanallah, we never agree with what's happening. We are not asking for such a violence. Islam never tell you to make violence. Alhamdulillah, we've been under the governor of Ottoman. And we know so many things about the Ottoman army. And there was one famous story about one soldier. He was going in the grave field. And his commander realized that soldier, he is in the grave field. And he was telling him, are you watching where is your horse walking? I say, I'm walking between the graves. And he say, you have to know if one of this grape tree been fall down, you will be asked what damage you do for that grape tree. That's how they was so careful about the environment, about the tree, about the animal, about the people, about the elderly, about the young, about the innocent, about the civilian. I say, if we are fighting, we are fighting for Allah Almighty. We are not fighting to make harm for people. This is how our ancestors, they've been doing the war. 
Alhamdulillah, we are not agreeing with any violence. We are not agreeing with any terrorism. We are not agreeing with anything called Islamic terrorism. No, Islam never been terrorist. Islam being peaceful, Islam being goodness for everybody. This is how Islam was and still whatever they do in the name of Islam, we are not agree. It is not our things to agree. And we are asking all the Muslim to deny what happening all over the world. Not only in France or in Palestine or in, no, we are not agreeing in anything. This is, we have to know that the Islam is the true. Islam is the truth. Islam is the good. This is Allah Almighty. He make us to understand this. Elhamdülillah, hoş geldiniz bizim misafirlerimiz. Biz şimdi İngilizce konuşuyoruz ama gene size de bir iki kelam Türkçe'de konuşalım ki. İnşallah e, hem misafirlerimize hoş gelmiş oldu, olur. Burası burası elhamdülillah Şeyh Nazım Efendi Hazretlerinin makamı. İnşallah ziyaretiniz de makbul olur. İnşallah dualarınız da makbul olur. İnşallah geldiğiniz ne maksat varsa o maksat da kabul olur, hasıl olur. Ona bir dua edelim. Şimdi dün bugün Safer ayının üçüncü günüdür. Saferul Hayr Peygamber Efendimiz bu safer ayı geldiği zaman çok tedirgin olurmuş. Çünkü bu safer ayı her zaman için böyle felaketlerle efendime söyleyeyim Allah'ın gazabıyla Allah'ın şey e, şiddetli bir aydır. Herkes bunu biliyor. Tabi bu sene Allah'ın hikmeti de bu safer ayı Fransızların üstüne çökmüş vaziyette. Bu da tabi Elim bir mesele, hiç böyle hoş olmayan bir mesele. Çünkü insan insandır, dünyanın her tarafında insan insandır. Ve insanlar genellikle masumdur. Sivil insanlar masumdur. Onlar ne savaşıyor, ne harp ediyor, ne bir şey yapıyor. Sivil insanlara böyle bir şekilde saldırmak İslamiyet'te yoktur. İslam her zaman için hakikattır, haktır. Onun için biz Osmanlı torunuyuz. Elhamdülillah. Hepimiz iftihar ederiz Osmanlı torunu olduğumuz için. Onlar bizim ecdadımız. Onlar bizim iftihar kaynağımız. Onlar dünyayı fethettiler. Ne terör estirdiler, ne de sivil kestiler, ne de ihtiyarı öldürdüler, ne de kadına tecavüz ettiler, ne de çoluk çocuğun kellesini uçurdular. Meşhur bir hikaye Osmanlı giderken askeriyle bir asker bağların içinde geçerken komutanı, komutanı görmüş. Bakın sen bağların içinde ne yapıyorsun? O bağlara dikkat et. O dallarını kırma. Dallarını kırırsan hesabını veremezsin demiş. Komutanım demiş ben bu bağların içinden geçerken üzüm canım çekti. İki tane üzüm kestim. İki tane de akçe koydum. Onun parasını dahi koydum. Onun hakkını almamak için. Öyle hak gözetirdi bizim asker. Öyle hak gözetirdi bizim ecdat. ecdat. Onun için bizde bu ne kadar fitne varsa hem Türkiye'nin satında hem dünyanın satında biz onu hiç tasvip etmiyoruz. Kabul etmiyoruz. Onlardan da Allah intikam alsın diyoruz. Çünkü İslam adıyla İslam'ı lekelettirmek istiyorlar ama İslam yücedir, lekelenmez. Onu da bilmeniz lazım. Ve min Allah'ı tevfik, bi hürmetil Habib, bi hürmetil Fatiha.